and turn on the haunches here. What is my picture for turn on the haunches? I like for my horse to be nearly straight from the top of their head, through their body, all the way back to here. I like for the hind end to remain stationary. I like for the horse to move away from my energy when I when I ask for it to step away from me. Okay, so I'm going to get a lead rope up here in a way. And, and what I'm thinking about when I do this is I want to I want to be up in her eye. By that I mean I want to be beside her eye. I want her. I want to be sure that she sees when I ask her to move. When I'm when I'm ready for her to step away from me, I'm simply going to get bigger and see how she responds. If she responds with with the right move which is going to be to, to look to the right, step to the right. I would like for her right front foot to move over and back, which will give room for the left front to come out and around. Then the right will go over and back, and the left front would be out and around. As she is moving, I'm going to pay attention to her body alignment. If she stands straight, I'm going to let her feel the the uh, the sweet spot. If she's bending, I'm going to address the body part that needs to be addressed. She's wanting to back up a little bit, so I'm, I'm I'm asking her to step forward with my left hand and my right hand. Get her to try. She's not back too much. Stepping her up. If she's back, and you see. Her feet won't cross in the front. She's leading a little bit shoulder first. Now she's leading head first. Now she's right on. Stop, she should stop without taking the slack out of the lead rope. When I'm ready to move, she should be ready to move. When I'm ready to stop, she should stop. When I'm ready to move, she should move. When I'm ready to stop, she should stop. When I step on the gas, bring that energy up. stand still. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> the decision I made. That tells me when to do what. When I wanted to move, I wanted to move. When I wanted to stand there, I wanted to stand there. So how does she know the difference? She does. So if she responds by moving, I'm not going to uh, overcorrect that. I'm going to simply recognize it and do as little as it takes to get her to understand that this meant stay here. This means move. That means not move. This means move. This means not move. Stand still.